Hello Internet, uh, I'm in the middle of installing my cowling and got to the step of uh, basically picking up the existing tabs and the tab locations which have these large holes in them and, uh, and then setting them up so I could get them drilled and clecoed. I have these, the ones with the 1 8 clecos are already done. But I thought I would show you a technique that I developed um, to locate the hole rather precisely. And uh, one of the problems is they, they give you the, this tool uh, is used to insert in the back of the tab and then give you magnets and I'll just show you a couple of tricks with magnets and and how to locate the hole a little more precisely than using the large disc magnets that they provide you with the kit. So I wanted to show a, uh, a procedure that I've been using to locate holes through the fiberglass for the Skybolt fasteners and of course the problem we have is the Skybolt tabs have the big hole for the uh, receptacles and they provide these uh, little pieces to use uh, <clears throat> to in, put in the hole to basically uh, allow you to click the county in place as you're working and in the back side of that this piece is a recess that's made they provide these magnets and the recess is made to uh, accommodate the magnet. In any case, it's a little bit, sometimes a little bit tight to get that in. There it goes. But it doesn't go in very far, which is part of the part of the issue here in using these. They want you to use one of uh, one of the similar magnets to uh, <clears throat> to use on the outside of the cowl. So if this strip re represents the cowl magnets. This strip represents the cow. They would want you to put this here in the problem and, and use that to locate the hole through the cow. The problem I find is that there's a little excessive ambiguity. See, I can push this. It doesn't necessarily end up dead center. And um, <clears throat> that can lead to issues, and they, they describe basically uh, uh, working the hole as you enlarge it to the full size to uh, uh, to compensate for the errors, but I found uh, a little bit of a better way that works. One is uh, I took one of these and I drilled and reamed it out so it, it's deeper and the magnet goes in much further in the hole. So I'll put this one in and you'll see that it goes in that far now. Uh, I put a little uh, stick and paste on it just to uh, to keep it from falling out when you're using it. But then the, 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 I tried that thinking that was going to get me uh, a little bit better result, but I still had this ambiguity. It's better. It's a lot better, but there's still a bit of play where this can doesn't identify the dead center <laughs> exactly. So. Uh, the modification to this piece allows the magnet to sit in deeper, which gets it closer to the surface. And you know, the further away you get from the surface of the magnet, the more uh, that the field spreads out. And so you'll see that I, just, that I determined that the easy way to, uh, to find this on the other side was by using just a standard steel sewing needle on a thread. And it centers itself right in the center of the pole and the magnet. So I like this, but it seems, um, and, and even if I put a piece across here now to represent the distance or the thickness of the material we're using, you'll see when I hang this, it'll just go right to the point. And that's the point you mark to drill the hole. You maybe get five thousandths or so variation from touches. <clears throat> so I decided to try and add these uh, see they are. these uh, these are uh, rare earth magnet beads to the uh, to this whole arrangement, and you can get eighth inch beads uh, online any any number of places for you know pennies a piece, 
And anyhow, I stack them in there. And they will align themselves pretty well with the field. Uh, let me take, I only need one. And what happens is that makes, that focuses the field a little bit and also gets it closer to the surface so you can see that that touch point is dead on. And once again, if I use this in, to represent the cow, and this guy will come right in like that. And that's where to drill the hole. So it's a very easy thing to do. You mount this in the tab, hold it in there with tape, just like they would, uh, the instructions for the kit has you do. You have the cow, put the cow on top and hold the needle. I usually hold it with a pretty good thread and that will give you the point to mark for drilling the hole. It's very precise. So the next question I had was how well this would work um, if, you, if you're doing it when you're working on the sides of the cow. And as it turns out, it works pretty well. It gets you right to that point. And so for that reason, you don't want to choose a massive needle. The smaller needle you choose, the the better. Uh, and it even works upside down. So when you're installing your cowling, I hope this little tip helps you uh, get through this step a little easier.